Howdy folks, Matt here with Gulf Coast Fit and we're running through another mechanical drop set. This is going to be a mechanical drop set, our second type of mechanical drop set for upper body pressing. We start with exercise A, the more challenging of the two upper body pressing exercises, and then move into exercise variation B, pressing variation B, which is a variation of the first exercise in which we manipulate the angle of our body relative to the resistance or the work that we're executing to give us a mechanical advantage to be able to keep doing some more work. So it's a way to extend your work capacity to help you build more muscle, more localized stamina, and a good lactic acid tolerance. So in this case, you see we've got dips. We're gonna do three to 10 dips, any kind of dips. In this case, I'm using rings, ring dips, but you can use bar dips, assisted dips if you need to, weighted dips if you need to add some weight, uh, three to 10 reps. And then we're gonna move directly into another dip variation, an angled dip, which is an assisted dip variation where I simply tilt my body forward a little bit more, put my feet on the ground, and give myself a different angle in which to press uh, against, and it makes me a little bit stronger so I can extend my capacity. So a drop set is a superset where you've got two variations of the same exercise essentially. You move from the harder of the two to the easier of the two so you can really Take, uh, take the muscles that you're targeting to their absolute limit. So you wanna run through these supersets, these mechanical drop sets, two to four times, resting one to two minutes between each round, uh, but you want as little to no rest in between variations as possible. So that's the key. Transition from one to the next. Also, earn the drop set. Don't move on to the next variation unless you really gave it your all on the first variation. So if I get to 10 dips and I still have a lot more in the tank, I don't deserve to move down to the drop set or to the mechanical drop set. Uh, I need to either make those dips harder, so add more weight, or do something, execute them in a way where I get more out of it so that I don't end up needing more reps. Um, so you gotta be honest with it. It always takes tweaking and refining and practice, and that's what it's all about, practice. So here we go. Three to 10 dips, right into three to 10 assisted dips. Angled dips. I'm just gonna spin you right this way. You can see the rings. That should work. All right, I'm not gonna add any weight today. I'm just gonna make each rep as effective as possible by focusing on my mind-muscle connection, contracting my pecs as hard as I can. There's 10, immediately into an angle dip. My feet are on the ground now, I'm leaning forward a little bit. Gives me a mechanical advantage so I can keep doing work with the target muscles. Pretty much close to failure, right at my 10th rep there. So that worked out perfectly. I got 10 dips unassisted, then 10 angled dips uh, with a little bit of mechanical assistance. And that seemed to be right on the money. Uh, what I can do, your reps may not be constant from round to round. So what I might do is add a little bit of weight with a weight vest. I might not end up doing 10 dips initially, but as long as I'm between three and 10, maybe I'll do five, six, seven then go immediately into the angled assisted dips as the mechanical drop set and see if I can still make it anywhere from three to 10 again. Um, I'm gonna run through this four times. Make sure you run through it two to four times. Should be all of the upper body pressing you need for that day. And remember, the mechanical drop set, you have to earn the drop set. So if you're not honest and, and, and uh, committed to making that initial uh, variation as effective and as challenging as possible. Make sure you can't do more reps than the top end of your rep range or else you don't deserve to move down to the drop set. Uh, so just be real with it, be honest. Always tweak and fine tune things and find out exactly what your limits are. Remember when things get hard, then you always got a little more in the tank than you think. 
So that area where you're pushing your limits is where you're gonna make progress on something like this. So don't be afraid of that hard work. Some good hard fun. Catch you later. Stay strong.